So, uh, my other question is for you is I take very seriously your accusation of my conflict of interest and that I should recuse myself. I'm trying to understand the logic behind it. If you could help me, please. I think that what you're saying is people come to natural food stores in part to avoid GMO products. Is that correct? Uh, I can't speak for everyone. I'm just trying to understand your comment. Um, it's not for me to um, decide. I'm not asking. I'm not uh, saying it's for you to decide. I'm trying to, I, I just, to explain your comment. I mean, why is it that I would be in a conflict of interest if GMO foods were labeling you? I would like to understand that because I found out there's a lot. You might have some information I don't have. Um, I would think in the interest of fairness and transparency that I think you should at least disclose um, any potential or perceived conflicts. I'm not saying that you have one. It's just that it, the issue has been raised and I think in the interest of transparency that but I'm all for transparency and I'm all for disclosing conflicts over there. So I'm trying really hard to understand your logic. In my thoughts on this issue, if someone is trying to avoid GMOs, and if GMOs were labeled, then they could shop in any grocery store hmm. and not have to go to a more expensive natural food store. So in, doesn't that drive people away from my stores? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I've been listening to conspiracy theories all day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Allow me the latitude to answer. Um, many people say that the initiative behind GMO labeling is to bolster the organic food industry. That's not my position, but that's what a lot of people say. Well, after, after 40 years in the natural foods industry, I've never heard that before. So you must be knowledgeable of different conspiracy theories. <laughs> my question. If GMO foods were labeled, wouldn't people have less reason to seek out organic foods or a natural food store? They can simply go into Safeway and know whether their food is GMO or not. Well, I imagine that's true. Okay, thank um, you. I also... I think you uh, it's just, okay. And then uh, my last point on that, the definition of uh, conflict of interest here in the Senate is if an action would help my, my business in contrast to other similar businesses. In other words, if it, if it benefits a whole industry, it's not a conflict. If it benefits my company alone, that's a conflict. Do you think that any of this GM of labeling would benefit my company versus every other national food store? Again, it's not my place to decide. I just wanted to <laughs> offer the idea that it should be considered and that any potential or perceived conflicts should be disclosed to keep the integrity of the process above reproach. Thank you very much. I, I will say that, uh, let me let me do what Mr. Infredi is, I think, suggesting and disclose to everybody that I own natural food stores. And if, that, uh, if that's a potential conflict of interest, and if someone can explain it to me in a, in a sense of logic that I can understand, I will recuse myself. Thank you very much for your comments. Thank you.